everyone and welcome back to One Globe 360. So on today's episode I'm going to be giving an honest review of my G-Adventures tours that I've been on so far. The first G-Adventures tour that I went on was in October 2018 when I did a two-week tour in India. So we mainly covered Rajasthan and then we ended up in Goa. So we started in Delhi and ended up in Goa and that included going to Delhi, Agra, Udaipur, Pushka, Agra, Mumbai and then Goa. Um, it was an incredible tour, my first G-Adventures experience and um, yeah, I absolutely loved traveling in a group. I felt safe at all times. That was one thing traveling to India that I wanted to make sure was that I'd be safe at all times. And we had our tour leader who was with us 24 seven, who took us to the most, the safest places, the best places, the best restaurants, the local experiences. You know, that's one massive benefit of going on the G Adventures tours is your local guide knows everything about all the cities and places that you're going to. So it means you can maximize your time in those places and get the best experience. One thing I would say is, you know, it's slightly more expensive to go with G-Adventures rather than traveling by yourself. Um, but that's to be expected when everything is sort of put together for you. It was, you know, comfortable travel. It was relaxed travel. It was not stressful whatsoever. Everything was organized for you in terms of traveling from A to B. You know, the accommodation, the activities were planned. Um, we had some activities that were a part of the price and some optional optional activities, which you, you could choose to, you know, choose to do throughout. Um, there were so many different options from hot air balloon rides for sunrise in Jaipur, which I did, to city tours, to, yeah, so many different activities you could get involved with. It was two weeks and we managed to fit so much in in those two weeks, which is what I loved so much about doing the G-Adventures tour is it was, you know, it was efficient traveling um, because they took us to all those places in such a short period of time. I feel like I got such, you know, a real proper, you know, authentic experience of, of India in such a short period of time. So I'd highly recommend doing the India tour. Um, I will pop a comment down below with the exact tour that I did in India. And if you've got any questions, um, any more specific questions about my experience in India and doing the tour with G-Adventures, then yeah, send me a DM or pop a comment down below and i will be more than happy to answer your questions. Then after my tour to India in October 2018, four months later in February 2019, I embarked on a 10 week trip full of full of G-Adventures trips, literally. Um, so I started off doing the Rio de Janeiro to Buenos Aires tour in South America. Um, so yeah, we covered Brazil, Argentina, Paraguay and Uruguay and that was with G-Adventures and then I flew to New Zealand and I did a three week New Zealand tour which included both the North and South Islands and then I flew from, um, from Auckland in New Zealand via Sydney to Thailand and I did the Thailand to the Bangkok to Singapore tour which covered Thailand, Malaysia and Singapore. So I'll go into some more insight or more depth into my South America tour first. So like I said, we covered Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay and Paraguay. And it was an amazing experience. It was just, I think it was just about two weeks long. And like I said, with the India trip, one of the, one of the bonuses with the G Adventures tours is you get to see and do so much in such a short period of time. You know, for a normal traveller doing the itinerary I did, it probably would have taken them about a month, but we were very efficient with the travelling. And like I said, the accommodation sorted for you, the transport sorted for, for you, they take you from A to B and it's no stress whatsoever. And also when I went to South America, I wanted to make sure that safety was a big aspect, something that I wanted to make sure was going to be OK. And that was definitely the case being on my tour. I felt safe at all times. And um, yeah, our tour leader was at hand at all times to make sure we were OK to go to certain places to go, you know, eat at certain restaurants. He had incredible recommendations. Um, he he um, comes from Peru, but had lived in um, Buenos Aires and Argentina for a, a long time. So he knew all the best places to go and where to take us. So, yeah, the, that particular G Adventures tour in South America was incredible. It set, set my 10 week period of, of traveling up amazingly. Um, and yeah, it was just brilliant. You know, we had some incredible optional activities, um, including I didn't do it myself, but you could take a helicopter ride over Iguazu Falls. Um, you know, we did various city tours, like I did a city tour in Rio de Janeiro, where I got to see Christ the Redeemer and Sugarloaf Mountain. Um, yeah, there was just so much. We, we went to a tango class in Buenos Aires in Argentina. And then in the evening, we watched a tango show with a three course dinner. So there were just endless opportunities on these G Adventures tours. And like I said, although it costs a little bit more money, I would say it's more than worth it just for that stress free travel. So then after my South America trip, I then went on to New Zealand. I stayed in New Zealand for a month. Um, I spent a week with some family friends and then three weeks on my G Adventures trip. So that included both the North and South Islands. And it just I just got to have the full New Zealand experience. I got to see and do all the main touristy things on both North and South Islands. And the optional activities were just incredible. 
I flew a helicopter near to the end, uh, not a helicopter, sorry, a plane towards the end of my trip. I ice climbed the Franz Josef Glacier. You know, it just, we just had some incredible experiences. I had the opportunity to, to skydive, which I didn't do. I was just a bit scared at the time. Um, but in the Bay of Islands, a lot of the members of my group went skydiving. We had the opportunity to swim with, I think it was dolphins, um, which I didn't do, but again, looked amazing. Um, just endless opportunities to immerse yourself in the sort of the New Zealand culture, to immerse yourself in the adrenaline in Queenstown, which is the capital of the capital of you know adrenaline in the world. Um, yeah, New Zealand was amazing. We sort of road tripped the whole time. So our tour leader was not just a tour leader. She was also our driver as well, um, which was amazing. She literally drove around the whole of New Zealand, um, which must have been so tiring, but she did an amazing job. Um, and yeah, a lot was included within the price. Um, but then we had all the optional activities as well. So again, in terms of prices though, the New Zealand tour was quite expensive, probably the most expensive tour I did. However, it was the longest tour I did and New Zealand in itself is quite an expensive country anyway. So I expected the price to be that little bit higher, but I would highly recommend if you're visiting New Zealand and want to get as much done in the shortest period of time, I'd highly recommend doing the G Adventures tour. And then last but not least, my tour in Southeast Asia. So like I said, I flew from Auckland to Bangkok and I did the Bangkok to Singapore tour, which was just amazing. I absolutely love visiting South America. And yeah, this trip did not disappoint. We, we started off in Bangkok. We then went up to Chiang Mai, back to Bangkok and then to Koh Samui, which is one of the Thai islands. And then we went into Malaysia. We went to Georgetown. We went to Kuala Lumpur. We went to Cameron Highlands. Um, and then we finished off in Singapore, which was the best way to end my trip. Um, yeah, we just got to see and do so many things and um, so much was, so much was included in the price in this particular tour. Um, but one of my standout memories was visiting the Elephant Sanctuary in Chiang Mai in northern Thailand. That was just amazing. We also got to experience two sleeper trains as well, which is a very unique and authentic Thai experience, um, which I'd encourage you to embrace. Initially, you sort of think, oh, my goodness, 10 hours on a sleeper train. Um, it's going to be tough, but actually it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, and that's what these G Adventures tours allow you to do. They allow you to experience things that you probably wouldn't be able to experience unless you were doing those tours, you know, especially homestays. We went and had a homestay in uh, Malaysia, which was amazing. Uh, we were staying by a gorgeous lake. I think it was called Chendera Lake. And um, I would never have known or had that experience if I hadn't done the G Adventures tour. So yeah, uh, that Southeast Asia tour finished up by 10 weeks of traveling in the best way possible. And um, yeah, overall, I just got to say, G Adventures would highly recommend. Group traveling for me is the best travel, best way to travel. You get to meet so many people from around the world, so many people from around the world that I'm still friends with to this day, that I'm still in contact with. And you just get to you know share those experiences with other people. I just think it's the best way to travel. Um, and I know it's a slightly more expensive than traveling by yourself or traveling with a friend, but that itinerary that they have is just the best way to maximize your time in the country or countries and to get the best experience possible. Um, and the tour leaders, I just have to say, have been amazing. I'm still in contact with some of them as well. So I've kept in contact and um, yeah, they just help make your experience the best it possibly can be. And they're always at hand for advice to give help or sort of recommendations for what you can do in, in your free time during the trips. But yeah, without a doubt, I'd highly recommend doing a G Adventures tour. You can go and check out their website. Um, they've got so many tours all around the world. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm going to definitely be doing one in the future after the restrictions end with the pandemic. I was due to go on one with my boyfriend last summer. We were meant to do Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Cambodia and Laos, a big month long tour, which unfortunately got cancelled due to, due to the pandemic. But hopefully in the future, we'll be able to do that tour again. Um, so yeah, would highly recommend checking out G Adventures, going on one of their tours. Um, yeah, you will not you will not regret it. I've done four tours now. And I've loved every single one. So yeah, if anyone's got any questions or any comments about G Adventures or about my experience traveling on my gap year, please do pop a comment down below or send me a DM. I'd love to help. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next.